we, we all have stories and friends and family members, unfortunately, that are no longer with us. So somebody has a, a property. Let's role play. So Phil, uh, uh, if I, if this, was, it was, this was your grandmother's home? It, yeah, it was actually, yeah, it was my grandmother's home. She, uh, she recently just uh, passed away. And, uh, you know, I got your letter here and I just wasn't sure what this is about. I'm a little, I don't understand why. Well, you know what? So my, my, let's just start from like the beginning to where um, I'm going to call you because I got a letter in the mail. That's it. We'll start right from the beginning. All right. And you're the investor. I'm the guy that got the letter in the mail. Say hello. Uh, all right. So you're going to answer. Uh, no, you're going to answer the phone because I'm calling you from the letter. Hello. Is this, hello. Is this Claude? Yes, it is. Who's this? Hi. Uh, yeah, my name is Phil. I, uh, my, there was a letter addressed to my, to my grandmother's house and I went there to get the mail and I, you know, I'm just, uh, why, why are you mailing my grandmother's house about to buy a house? First of all, first of all, can I extend your con condolences to you? Sure. I mean, we, you, you know, I think of my grandma all the time. She was the sweet, you know, Thanksgiving in my house. She, she took over the kitchen. She, you know what I miss the most from my grandmother? The food. How about your grandma? Was she a good cook? Yeah, she was. Oh God. Do you miss this? Do you miss the family get togethers and stuff like that? Yeah. I mean, she recently passed away. So, uh, you know, I definitely missed it, but I, you know, I got your postcard here and I, I, I just, I don't understand why you mailed it. Is there, is, I look to buy, I look to, I buy houses. I don't, you're probably not interested in selling that house right away. Are you? You know, not right away. We have some things to take care of, but uh, we're eventually going to sell it. Okay. When you say eventually, you mean in a, a month, a year, 10 years? Probably, uh, probably two months. Oh, okay. I could, let me ask you this. Uh, are you the decision maker, Phil? Can I call you Phil? I'm Claude. Yes, you can call me Phil. And yes, I'm the, I'm the, the uh, executor. However, we just need some time to get it through uh, the surrogate's court. Understood. I'm looking for a particular property in that area. I have several clients that are very interested. Can I do this for you? Can, as I, I appreciate you taking the time to speak with. Can I send you an offer in the mail and you get back to me? Uh, can you get back to me on Friday and let me know if this is of interest to you? Yeah, that works. That's fair enough. How about 1230. Perfect. You're a gentleman, sir. Once again, my condolences. Sound, she sounds like a wonderful lady. Thank you. Okay. I mean. <laughs> right. Was, I mean, I was trying to be sensitive. I talked about my grandma. I talked about food. Is food emotional? Yes. Oh, yes. Also, this time of year, you're really hitting on the holiday section. And that was really good. You brought that up. Hey, it's called guts for a reason. <laughs> it really is. You know, the thing about this is being spontaneous and creative and trying to sound different. If I did the traditional sales stuff to Phil, how fast would, would he have taken out his anger on me? <laughs> 